Hello, my guy. This is what I call men's parliament. I want to talk to my gender, to be sensitive on some realities on the ground. This broadcast is for men only. If by chance this video gets to you, a woman, kindly delete it now. If you are watching this already, kindly stop it and waka. I am waiting. I'm waiting for you to delete it. If you don't delete it and go away, I won't talk again. Have they gone? Okay. All women have gone. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. This is good. Now, guys, let's talk. This, as I said earlier, is men's parliament. No woman is watching, so I'll be very free to talk to you on some realities on ground. Let women day their day, and we guys, we will day our day. My guy, in these few years I have spent on this terrestrial divide, I have seen how life treats us men. I mean some of us, not all. Some of us, especially in our old age. I have seen men walk, labor, and sweat throughout their youthful lives on their wives, their children, and I have seen how many men, not all, as I said earlier, ended up either out of their carelessness or conspiracy of women and their children who are involved in this equation. Let me start this narrative with one old story I'm sure many of you must have heard. The story of how we men are often unappreciated by our children. A child requested of his dad 10,000 naira. Then the father inquired about the purpose. What do you need the money for? After a thoughtful consideration, the father promised to provide the amount of money the next morning before heading to work. However, the night was very restless for the father because that's all he had with him. Now he looked at it. As the head of the house, as the father, he has to take care of the children. He was under so much pressure on how he too will survive the rest of the week with the 10,000 naira he has. But as a father, he must meet with his responsibility. In the morning, the father called the child and handed him 9,000 naira, leaving him with only 1,000 naira for him to manage for the rest of the week. The child was displeased, expressed his dissatisfaction, Daddy, I wanted 10,000 naira, you gave me 9,000 naira. And he reluctantly thanked the father who is left with just a thousand naira to manage himself from the week. Observing the situation from one corner, the mother called the child, invited him to her room, and provided him with the balance of one thousand naira. The son became very happy immediately, and he was smiling all over the place. Oh, I have the best mother in the world. I have the best mother in the world. She gave me the money. He did not remember that the father coughed out 9,000 naira. This is how most children treat their father. They don't see their contribution. The son went on the social media. I have the best mother in the world. My mommy, mommy, oh, wapela ye. This is the way they treat fathers. Meanwhile, the father ventured out with only 1,000 naira. The father persevered throughout the day while the son was celebrating his mother on the social media. These are some of the challenges we fathers we go through. This is men's parliament. I hope there's no woman watching us. Now, let me go deeper in this narrative. My guy, as you work hard to train your children, and make your wife proud. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Don't forget to have something for yourself for your old age. May you not be begging your children to eat in your old age. Remember, women can be jumping from one son's house to another's daughter's house. Not so for men. Men don't do omugo. Can I tell you a truth? You are a stranger in that family you call yours today. That house you struggle to build is not yours. It's for your wife and for your children. Seriously. And I will tell you a story. 
concerning this. A friend sent me this story some time ago. Let me quote him here. My grandfather told me that a married man is like a tractor that builds a road, does it very nicely. But when the road is completed, they bring a low loader and carry the tractor away, claiming it will spoil the road. That tractor is never allowed to step on that road it built. Same is the case for we married men. We deny ourselves, get loans, wear used clothes. You don't, you couldn't even eat properly. All because you want to see your children through high schools, through the university. All because you just want your wife to look good. Because we believe that the only gift we can give them is quality education. When they are old enough, the fathers often become dispensable. The attention of most children, not all of them, I mean most children, shift to their mothers. Maybe these mothers are poisoning their mind to tell them that, uh, don't worry about your daddy, I was the one who trained you. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have gone to school. I sold all my trinkets, all my wrappers, all my gold to send you to school. Your father was only interested in alcohol. He was going after all women all over the place. Now, the tractor that built the road is being carried away. You can imagine how some women demonize fathers. Once the child starts working, the father could have retired. When he comes to visit his parents, the poor father is given maybe 5,000 naira in front of the mother. While the mother pulls the son to the kitchen or to her bedroom and collect maybe 50 times what the father got. And the father doesn't even know what the mother gets. But the mother knows what the father gets. Once the child drives off, the father is told to bring money again to buy sugar for tea. Or he will drink a sugarless tea. These are some of the reasons why most men die early. And do you know one of the reasons why this happened to women? Because we do not show that we are the one doing some of this responsibility when we're young. You don't attend. Hold on. I hope there's no woman there. Let me tell you some truth on how we can get this thing done. That the children will know that even you, the father, you have done so much. Attend the PTA meeting. Let the children know that my father to attend. The it's not all about mother, mother, mother. When you go to work in the morning and you're coming back in the evening, buy something. Even if it's just a loaf of bread, buy it. And when you get to him, give it to your son. Or take it to your mommy. When you buy things there, call your son's own. Take it to your mommy. When to pay school fees, some people will just transfer money to the mother or transfer the money to school. Tell your son, tell your mommy to give me her account number. And just transfer the money in the presence of the children to her account number. Let the children know that my daddy has done this. The fact that many of us don't do this thing in the presence of the children makes many children think that it is my mommy. It is my mommy. My mommy buy this clothes for me. When it gets to Christmas time, call the children, call the mother. Now, how do we do what do we do this Christmas time? Children, what do you need? This one, what do you need? Give your wife the money in the presence of the children. Don't tell them that I told you. When we don't do this, the children always feel fathers are useless. Fathers don't do anything at home. These are some of the secrets I want to share with you. Don't let them know that I told you this. Old age could be very lonely, my brother. Most children don't always see the suffering of we fathers because we don't do some of these things in their presence. Old age could be very lonely and agonizing for men who did not plan for it. May you not become a kind of liability on your children in your old age. May your children not wish you dead early when they cannot take care of you again. To live a happy old age. Build your own house where you will live in your old age. Build businesses, preferably in properties or agriculture, that will feed you in your old age. That you will not just remain at home a kind of liability, sitting at home 247. There must be something, there must be somewhere you will go to in your old age. Create conveniences, start learning things that will engage you in your old age. Build friendships and goodwill that will serve you in your old age. Right now, my brother, listen to me. Start to be relevant in your church and community so that you could be reckoned with in your old age. 
listen to me, old age could be very lonely. An old age without money in your pocket is a slow, agonizing death sentence. Be warned. It is easy for women to jump from one son's house to another. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I warn you, this is men's parliament. Don't share this video with any woman. I warn you. Know what we are doing? Mentoring masterclass for men only. Thank you. Bye.